So the very important question here is, should the samples be sent to pathology? Uh, I hear this from a lot of patients where they state that their surgeon felt that the capsule was normal appearing. One cannot look at a capsule and say it's normal or not. The ultimate and the only way one can tell if the capsule is uh, abnormal, bad, if there is cancer cells or not, is to send it off to pathology. And if there is any fluid, it is sent to cytology. And the CD30 analysis must be done. And the surgeon has to communicate with the pathologist by writing specifically this. The history of breast implant illness, rule out silica, rule out malignancy, BIAALCL, which is the breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, ALCL, CD30 analysis must complete CD30 analysis. And as you will see in this final pathology report, um, you will see the CD30 does not highlight large atypical cells. This is to rule out the BIALCL. And in the final diagnosis, it says on the right breast implant capsule, foreign body giant cell reaction to rare droplets consistent with extravasated silicone. So the silicone has leached out and the body is reacting and there's a giant cell reaction. This is the inflammation. Same thing on the left side, mild chronic inflammation and droplets of material consistent with extravasated silicone within the capsule, left breast implant capsule. So that means if the capsule was left behind, this extravasated silicone would be left behind, and then the patient would continue to hurt. And all what one needs is a small amount of silicone for the body to continue to react to it negatively. We hear the many patients who had an incomplete capsule removal or the surgeon did not believe in removing of the capsule. The patients feel as if they have implants in them and they continue to hurt till they go to another surgeon who then definitively removes the implant capsule and all, who then definitively removes the residual capsule and that inflamed tissue around. So now the patient has the best chance to recover and bounce back and confirmation that there was, uh, the CD30 analysis was negative. Last year, um, I had three patients where the CD30 analysis was positive and I had to send them to the cancer center for further workup so that they would definitively get that workup so that God forbid if they had anything, they would uh, get treated accordingly. This is Dr. Khan, Executive Plastic Surgery.